What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are in North Lake, Texas at Kindred Homes and we're getting ready to check out the Brooks, this beautiful modern farmhouse. Now this is a three bedroom, three bath sitting inside of approximately 3,150 square feet and this home is completely customized. So with that, let's go ahead and get inside. Alrighty. So when you do first walk in, this is the view that you're greeted with. You've got this nice foyer right here with several different things going on inside. You've got these clear views out into the backyard, which is super nice with that big old sliding glass door. But I'll go ahead and turn you around real quick. Let's check out the foyer. Huge light fixture, great big wooden door. Just a really nice inviting foyer. Plenty of space in here so you could put uh, some different tables or cabinets drop your keys humongous coat closet in here as well tons of storage then on the opposite side the left hand side of the foyer as you walk in you've got this kind of cool little recessed entryway as you walk through the doorway but you've got the coffered ceilings this is your office space or flex room so you can use this as a number of different things, but you've got these great big windows right here looking out into the front of the home. I'll get you over here in the corner so you can check that out. Got the barn doors in here too. Just a really nice rich wood color. And then we're not gonna go into these, but uh, I'll show you some more closets as we get through the home. But as you exit the foyer, you are greeted by the main living area. You've got a really nice, great room right here, some more exposed beams. And then of course you've got the sliding glass doors into like the outdoor area, which you open these things up like today, be super nice, get a little screen up there though, you know what I mean? Uh, and it just kind of flows back and forth. You can hang out outside, uh, inside, all different types of stuff. But then you got this really nice fireplace right here. Got the stone, little stack stone surround going all the way up to the ceiling. You've got the gas fireplace, no hearth down on the bottom, which is pretty neat too. Just gives it a nice clean feel. And then up top, you've got this great big mantle. You can mount your TV up here if you wanted to. And then you've got plenty of space on either side for some decorations, maybe put some built-ins right there. And then we'll go ahead and hop out onto the back porch so you can check that out. So another fireplace. Now I've been told that there's a little bird up there that uh, we may get dive bombed. So I'm a little nervous. Anyway, hopefully that thing don't come after me. There's one on either side, <laughs> birds everywhere. Uh, but anyway, you got another huge fireplace out here. Also gas, you put another TV up and then great big dining room area you see the other bird up there it's making its little home up on that speaker <laughs> it got me all nervous going back inside now uh, but you got a big old ceiling fan and then over here on this side you've got like your outdoor kitchen with the grill you've got a sink and a refrigerator and you've got these really nice views out into your backyard now all of these lots in this community are one acre We'll back up real quick so you can get a view of the rear elevation of this home. But pretty nice back porch. And uh, now let's see if we can get back inside without <laughs> getting attacked. I'm so scared. <laughs> Easy bird, I'm not coming after you. All right, we made it safe and sound. All right, so from here, we'll go ahead and start checking out the secondary bedrooms. And you got a really cool kind of bonus room over here on this side as well. Um, almost like a little movie theater room. You've got the tray ceiling up here, tons of windows. I mean, this could even be another bedroom. Look how big this thing is. This could be like a secondary master bedroom or something like that, an in-law suite. It's got the closet right here. I mean, that's not a real big closet, but you could like a, you know, like I said, it's custom, so you could 
add the different things if you wanted to, or you could just stack all the theater chairs in here and this could be like your whole movie theater room. Then over here you also have your first full bathroom. So you got the single vanity, the toilet, nice little built-in above the toilet. Makes for some good extra storage. And then you've got the standalone shower, got the tile surround going all the way up to the ceiling. Got the tile shower tray and then your shower head. Now I love the fact that for every bedroom there is a bathroom that's super nice, very convenient. The struggle <laughs> of having fewer uh, bathrooms than you do bedrooms. It's hard, it's rough. We are uh, coming from a three bedroom, a one bath. And uh, Jen, myself, and then the two boys. Ooh, that was a struggle. But anyway, so this is the first of the two secondary bedrooms and then it's got this really nice big walk-in closet over here as well. Plenty of space. Then on the opposite side of the fireplace, we'll start heading over there. This is where the second secondary bedroom is. So this one sits up on the front side of the house. Nice big room, got a little built-in desk over here. And then this one has its own ensuite, so that's really nice. Kind of a fun little layout. You got the single vanity, tons of counter space in here too. Another toilet, another little medicine cabinet. And then this one has a shower and tub combo. So you got the tiles around, not quite going all the way up to the ceiling. And then kind of a, a low profile tub as well. And then all the way through the bathroom is where the closet is for this one. Then from here, we'll go ahead and start working our way towards the other side of the home. You've got this great, big, beautiful kitchen sitting right in the middle of the home. Huge island. I love how it's, it's gray. You got the white cabinets really kind of gives it that modern farmhousey feel. You've got plenty of room for some seats on this side. And then we've got, ooh, this is a big old cabinet. Oh, this is a double trash can one. Most of the time we see them set up front to back. This one's side to side. That's cool. And soft clothes. You've got a nice undermount sink looking out into the living room. Some fun little pendant lights hanging down over the island as well. And then your dishwasher. In the rest of the kitchen, you have plenty of cabinets in here, not quite going all the way up to the ceiling. So if you were a decorator, you can definitely add some decorations, huge refrigerator. And then you've got this little fun kind of appliance, not really like a, a garage or anything. It's actually just the countertop, but uh, still pretty neat. You've got the built-in microwave and the double ovens. And then sitting in the middle of that, wait till you see how big this pantry is. Really nice size corner pantry, tons of space in here. And it's actually pretty close to uh, the garage too, so you don't have to lug your groceries too far from, from the car. Then on the back side, you've got your gas range, nice fun range hood. And then up top, you've got some Kind of decorative glass pane cabinets up there as well. I guess we should get into some of these, huh? I haven't really opened up too many of them. We'll just work our way down the line. How about that? <laughs> there we go. Now we've seen a little bit of everything. But really nice kitchen. And then from there you come into the dining room space, which you have even more great big windows looking out towards the back of the home. And then you've got another access door right here that leads out uh, onto the back patio.
Then just off of the kitchen, you've got almost like a little mud room. You've got uh, your hall tree right here. So you can hang up your coats, kick off your shoes. Got a couple little cubby holes down on the bottom. And then as you continue to work your way down the hall, this door right here leads out into your three car garage. And then you also have attic access in here as well. And back behind that, a little cleaning closet. Doesn't really need to be a coat closet because you got that little hole tree. All right, so this is the laundry room. I guess I'll go ahead and show it to you real quick. Uh, but it does wrap around from the master bedroom. You've got washer dryer hookups right here. Nice big wash basin and then plenty of cabinets in here. You got a little hanging doll on the other side. I'll show you that in a minute. Now these aren't soft clothes, but again, you know, that's something that you could have put in. But on the back side, ooh, that's nice. So you can put like a refrigerator in here. We've been seeing tons of that lately. You could also put a freezer. You got another shelf up here with a hanging doll. And then this is a nice little place to kind of fold your clothes too. So that's nice. Really pretty tile on the floor as well. I love the brown because it actually matches the wood floors. All right. Then we'll go ahead and get into this master bedroom. You've got the tray ceiling. Again, more big windows looking out towards the rear of the home. Just a really nice soft room. I really like the, the beiges. Now, of course, I also, I like dark accents, so just a little bit more mellow for me. But this is really nice too, it looks super clean. Then you've got the ensuite. Oh, there's actually a pocket door right here that separates uh, the bedroom from the ensuite. Big old egg-shaped soaking tub. You've got the glazed window up above that. And then you have two vanities. You've got this one right here, a little bit smaller, still plenty of counter space though. And then back behind us, check out how big this one is, huge. And this one's got a fun setup. So you actually, I guess we'll go over here real quick. This is the shower, kind of wraps around. It's got a tile going all the way up to the ceiling. It's got a nice little bench down here as well. And next to that, you got the water closet, got the toilet, and another little cabinet up above that. linen closet and I think that's everything here in the bathroom now we'll get into this big old closet so you got like a his and her side separated by this big old coat hanger thing <laughs> I didn't know what to call it uh, anyway there are tons of uh, places to hang things you've got some nice built-ins over here on this side uh, several of them actually so that's really, really nice. All right, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model or Kindred Homes, you can find that right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area, you can filter them down by price, square footage, number of bedrooms, all different types of stuff, so you can find that perfect dream home for you and your family. With all that, I hope you enjoyed the tour, and as always, my name's Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.